Hello everyone, I am supposed to be a blessing and this is a reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment, you guys, to like and subscribe to my channel. That's right. If you like the video, thumbs it up. You can also leave me a comment in the comment section um, down below because I do read those and I will answer you back. Um... Yeah, and if you like your own personal reading, because these are general readings, just picking up on some energies, you can always call me, 347-227-5723. That being said, you guys, let's get into it. First and foremost, Aquarius, I feel as though you've been working extremely hard. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You're honing in on your craft and your skill. You're doing what you need to do in order to um, get to where you need to be. I see you're definitely in your own energy because the star represents Aquarius. Uh huh. You also represent healing. It also represents things balancing out for you as well as um. There's some exciting things. I feel that some of you are going to be standing out, possibly in the field of work that you're doing is what I picked up on, okay? Some of you may feel like you missed out on an opportunity with the Four of Cups. you got a whole lot of other things going on in your life, but you keep thinking about this one thing right here, okay, you guys? Um... You have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is talking about... Okay, blessings that's going to be bestowed upon you. Some of you may have dealt with some betrayal, lies, deception, and deceit is what I'm seeing. Somebody could have been skinning and grinning in your face and talking about you like a dog behind your back. I feel as though you walked away from the situation. You're not dealing with that anymore. I also see the two of wands. So you could be in a crossroads in your life. And it's time for you to make some head over heart decisions, you guys. The Five of Swords is here, and it talks about fuck class shit that could have taken place within a relationship that you were in. You could have been dealing with the Gemini individual. <clears throat> There's a fire sign here showing up for you. A Leo said to Aries individual. Some of you could have cats as pets. Hello. Um, but it also lets me know. That you could be passionate about the work that you do. And I do see a lot of financial increase for you. Some of you have had some heartbreak in your life. Yes, you have. You've had some heartbreak. The three of swords. Some type of disappointment. Something happened to disappoint you. Made you feel as though your hands was tied within the situation. But I see that you kept planting seeds for prosperity. You see what I'm saying with that seven of pentacles there. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. Your ships is definitely coming in on the rising. I see there's a lot of creativity surrounding you here. You get bright ideas in regard to some things, and that's a wonderful thing. The hermit card, you could be dealing with the Virgo individual. It talks about you spending time to yourself to analyze the situations around your life. Whether it be a relationship, something to do with your job, your children, your home life, whatever it is, you're going to take time to yourself, which is good, because that helps you to heal yourself, you know, and just shut out all the clatter and deal with what needs to be dealt with. Some of you may be stuck, you may be feeling stuck, unsure about a situation, but in order to come out of that energy, you have to look at things from a different perspective, you guys, okay? You have the moon card. This talks about illusion. This talks about lies, deception, see things that are hidden from you. But everything will come to the light eventually. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer individual here. Anything that's done in the dark will definitely come to the light. The justice card is a Libra card, so you could be dealing with the Libra. Um, it talks about court cases and things like that. It also talks about things balancing out as well. Okay, so you're more focused on your stability here. You have to have that firm foundation to build on anything, okay? Somebody could be getting married or engaged. So, congratulations with that. I do see some wishes being fulfilled here for you guys with the Nine of Cups energy. Also, I feel like some of you are going to be, um, yeah, moving on to karma waters in a sense. You're going to get the victory in regard to it. Sometimes leaving a situation is not a bad idea if it's going to make you a better person. The chariot card. You love to hit things head on, and that's a wonderful thing. Some of you could be moving from one home to another. I see you're juggling. You're trying to decide something about your finances here with the two of pentacles. You definitely win your options, okay? Your last card is the ace of cups. There's new love on the rise, and you're receiving spiritual help from the spiritual realm, you guys. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. I am It's Best to Be a Blessing. And if you like your own reading with me, call me at 347-227-5723. Thank you so very much, Aquarius.